<laughs> the turbo charger. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. she does it's already whooped out pretty good through here but you know we'll throw some new challenges at the Ford hopefully and hopefully she does just as good as the last time hopefully oh these are some big whoops yeah they are Whee! <laughs>
<laughs> I don't know. You gotta dry these tires off somehow. <laughs> no, that was a solid hit. I think you bounced the truck a foot over at least. This is the axle. This is the axle too. Not a drive set. Okay. <laughs> You're going to want to up over that rock but I don't know if speed's the answer not working but I think we're just gonna have to back it down without the front locker working if that front locker was working it would climb right up I don't know why it's not it's a Dana 60 all right you want to back me down two-wheel drive. Try to run this 
sky ground, come over here, keep two up on the bank, and two down here, and just, just hammer it out. There's a lot of places for me to get a couple feet off and very stuck. But that's a, that bit is nasty. That over there is like straight up, so you can't hit it with speed. And I think I'd have trouble popping out of it. This one I'm worried is just kind of bottomless. Yeah, unless there's something over there, we're gonna like try to run the gauntlet through here. Dropping in a hole straight from the start. Not exactly what you wanna do. Got sucked straight into that hole. The front locker's not working at all, is it? I mean, your left front hasn't been spinning at all. No. But it hasn't been all day. I either broke the locker or I broke an axle shaft. I bet. I don't know when that would have happened, though. Maybe on the rocks, bouncing it? I did not break until I got stuck. But it I wasn't know. working. That, that kind of changes everything. It wasn't working before that though either. It was working last time we had it out. Yeah, I just mean today. But it could have been on one of those first bounces. Yeah, that changes everything. Not having a front locker. It's like, yeah, we couldn't get past that. way.
to shake the whole ride home. <laughs> There's so much mud packed in everything under this truck. Oh my god. That dude was super cool though, pulling us out. Yeah, definitely. That was a good thing he came along when he did, for sure. Well, that was why I saw, like, without having that, that true four-wheel drive, this thing just kind of doesn't really go where you point it. Yeah. Where, with the front locked, I can point it and go, but I knew just snaking through there, I could feel that I, I couldn't really point it where I wanted. It would just follow the ruts. Yeah. So I couldn't get over to you where I wanted to go. I couldn't hit any of the other ones because the way it was sliding. I'm like, I know this is where I'm going to end up. So I was like, he's sitting there. Hopefully he can get me out. <laughs> or he can drive me out to get someone to get me out. Yeah, this thing, when he was trying to pull you out, just wanted to push like a barge of mud. It was I crazy. Know. If that left front, I, I don't know if it would have gone through there in four wheel drive. I wouldn't have tried it because I wouldn't have had to, but I don't know. I, I don't know if it would have or not. It was, it was kind of digging a little bit. Like when he was pulling me, I could feel it just creeping. Yeah. So like when he was backing up and stuff, so I'm like, it's trying. God, I hate mud. I hate mud and what did I do? I came and I sank it in a mud pit. This place gets us every time. <laughs> It's the curse of the mounds, that's for damn sure. I know, every time. I didn't want to come here today, but it's the only place open. When the first place is right. closed, what can you do? and you want to have some fun, you go back to where you know it's open. And then you sink it in a pit, because you know that's what happens every time you come here. Every single time. For like, what, 15 years straight? Pretty much. <laughs> this place is like taking a toll on every vehicle. Every vehicle I've off-road has taken a toll on it out here. But, For sure. Well, that was fun, and I <laughs> broke it, because that's what I do. I break everything. I'm guessing I snapped that left front axle shaft right at the diff. Because the wheel joint's still in good shape, so I think I'm going to be buying an inner shaft, but I'll have to get home, tear it apart. But the good thing is it's not the wheel joint, so I can keep driving it in two-wheel drive until then. But, you know, being in the 60s. Being a